induction motor capacitor start and capacitor run time this is your capacitor here this is your main winding this is one winding connected here this is your auxiliary winding and it is connected here so there are two windings this is 1500 turns and this is also 1500 turns and the total winding main winding is 3000 turns and your auxiliary winding is also here 1500 here 1500 the total is 3000 turns this is your rotor uh, i have taken it uh, uh, an aluminium disc and uh, the core i have taken here is a galvanized iron and uh, uh, this is called machine bolt so it will run with 12 volt ac i have taken a step down transformer and that uh, converts to 30 volt ac to 12 volt ac and uh, while winding if you look from this side the winding should be clockwise and you have to follow the same pattern for winding all the machine bolts these windings that means the main winding and auxiliary winding it should be in quadrature this uh, this arrangement is somehow similar to uh, your induction cup type instrument to get a rotating magnetic field at least two phase system is required but in induction motor especially in single phase induction motor we are intentionally converting a single phase system into two phase system by using a capacitor this capacitor is used to get a double phase system from a single phase system what happens here is the current in main winding lacks the current in auxiliary winding by 90 degrees and this is helpful to create a rotating flux here and if you take only single phase system without any capacitor you cannot get a rotating magnetic field you will get a pulsating magnetic field structure is your starter and this structure is your rotor here when supply is given to the starter it creates a rotating magnetic field and uh, this magnetic field is linked with this rotor so according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction an EMF is induced in this rotor and this rotor is a conducting disk so here the induced emf produces a current and this current in the rotor develops another magnetic field and due to the interaction of the starter magnetic field and rotor magnetic field the rotor rotates the rotor magnetic field tries to catch the starter magnetic field and in this way the rotor rotates always 